want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you animal. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. Oh, little ones, my situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. <laughs> this letter's awful. Listen to this. Darling... What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Wait there while I get the money. And don't you touch anything. She told us not to give it to the mother, but she'll pay us if we just wait here. But then, if we give it to Belinda upstairs, maybe they can run away together. Oh, this is wonderful! Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty, my little dove. I guess some people's wishes do come true. We did it. We can buy the music box now. Come on, let's go buy that music box. Hello, Tilda! Can't wait to see what it can do. Hello, we've come to buy the music box. Very wise, little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet-like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. We weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. All right, to uh, settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little sparrow, wake up! It's alright, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you, I promise. Let's go to the castle. Good 
Saint Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young ladies. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Ah, hello, Master Guard. Ha, a man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and Little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? And history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Uh, yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord. Speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Children! It's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle, like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. What's that? Nothing to worry about. Stand at the sun. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories?
Death is not your destiny today, Little Sparrow. Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the girl survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to her small, broken body. The girl awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. She reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take her first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the girl's pain turned to strength. Her grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted her every dream. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. Custom of her people. On the day of the wedding, they danced before the revelers on a fifth. 